So lately I've got the idea to try to make a really high-end transformer, but unlike the other guys who go for most big and bad things they can find, personally I found more challenging to try to pump current out of a small one and have some project going on like a tiny mighty 100 amp, amp transformer or something. Anyways. Uh, do not use such towels around when you have high heat stuff, but I'm just having this one so you can see on the camera. Anyways, this transformer is out of a Walmart that I was using for testing for uh, almost a decade. Before I hear the thermal fuse blue and I uh, removed the secondary coil to use it as uh, you know magnet wire or something else. If I remember right, this must be the one. Uh, the rectifier PCB was totally carbonized as it was always working overloaded, but cold wise, as you can see with the secondary which was overheating the most, it looks just fine. Anyways, uh, when it was intact it had a 1.2 amps um, uh, at 9 volts DC rate and the current on the short circuit with the rectifier on was like 9 to 10 amps. Now I bypassed the thermal fuse, you can see it here, anyways, and I wired it straightly to 230 volts AC, and I winded the secondary coil with a 0.75 mm wire for about 1.2 volts. This winding is just for testing as it will uh, get rewinded for half volt and with thicker wires. I think the max I can put uh, is 2.5 millimeters. Uh, hold on. This thing here. You can see. Don't know, anyways. Uh, it's not bad at all, but even with the 2.5 millimeters wire, it's you know, good for up to 20-25 amps. So this on high amp uh, output is gonna have a really, really low duty cycle, as uh, you know, anything else will make it blow up. Well, the primary is not overheating much, but uh, the secondary will just go up in flames. The insulation of the secondary coil wire, anyways. Believe it or not, at 1.2 volts, this winding it pukes out like 40-50 amps. It's not as special as it sounds, as the overall power after the voltage drop will be like um, 30 watts or so, maybe less, maybe 20, who knows. I'm running a ballast with the ballast multi socket. The clear bulb indicates a bridge, and the actual ballast is this kettle, this 2000 watts, this 2000 watt kettle. And uh, I'm just doing this because I have exposed it to 30 volts wiring, and uh, if it sorts out, it's boring to run to the basement in case the main breaker on the, on the meter will also trip. make some sparks but nothing special. As you see the wire is overheating. Anyways, this is what I'm getting out of this now. Yeah, it will start to smoke now. If I wind this thing for less voltage, it can probably give me up to like 75% more current, but uh, we will see about that. At the bottom end, having something that puts out only half volt really sucks. And uh, I know I'm gonna have a bad time heating up anything more than whatever causes the absolute sort of the coil like this. But, uh, you know, this is the best I can do with this thing. And if you have like a wire with half ohm resistance and half volt, then you're totally screwed as on half volt the current will be like 50 milliampere only. There's nothing you can do if you go for the most current out of anything, and especially with this tiny thing. 
Actually, even uh, with uh, Protonic Indaxion's 50km transformer that had less than half volt output, if you get the same wire with uh, the half ohm resistance, then you know, just nothing will happen. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna try to make this thing better and I will come up with the final build and some meltdowns, hopefully. Thanks for watching.